Okay, hello everyone. Luckily, we were able to get uh, an engine crane. I brought it from a buddy of mine uh, here local in El Paso. He runs a YouTube channel called Garage Built Hondas. Uh, this is a Garage Built Honda and H Gen uh, collab T-shirt that we did. If you want to grab one, there'll be the link in the description. And I'm also going to link uh, link his YouTube channel down in the description as well. He builds uh, some really nice Hondas. He has great taste, uh, and I think I think he's probably one of the one of the best Honda, amateur Honda builders in the nation. So check out his YouTube, he's a real cool guy. And uh, I was able to, to borrow this uh, engine hoist from him today. Uh, so we're gonna pull out that Baja motor now. Uh, hopefully everything will go smoothly and I don't have to buy any more parts. And, and uh, we'll send the engine off to the builder and get the new short block put in shortly. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do here is take out the starter. And then once I get the starter out, I'm gonna Start unbolting the flex plate. Oh my god, come on. Okay, looks like the stud came out, so I'll put that back in.
Jesus. Oh god, I fucking took off the wrong one. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, separate the flex plate. I already took off a little plug and I and I moved the first uh, first bolt into and uh, the position. That's it. We are separated. Okay, I'm gonna take those off uh, off camera, and then I'll probably stop there until I uh, have a friend coming over and he's gonna help me pull it out. I could do it myself, but in, in reality, that's that's not the most conservative response. It'd be better just to, to have two people for safety's sake. Next scene, we'll be pulling out the engine right now. We're going, right? Yeah, we're okay. good. All right, the engine is out of the Baja. Some things that, that I noticed on the way, the power stream pump, it looked like it may have been leaking. Uh, I cleaned it and let it sit overnight and I didn't see any more leaks. So I'm gonna run it like that. And if it leaks with the new motor, then we're gonna go ahead and replace it. There's a lot of dirt, dirty caked on oil, but most of that's gonna get, get taken care of with the new short block. But it's out and we're, we're gonna take it to the engine builder tomorrow. Hopefully, maybe a week and then we'll have a new motor in here and have it back running and scene <laughs> cut